Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. We will begin per usual with our opening prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you. I ask that you forgive my sins, that you cleanse my soul, and that my prayer may reach your throne of glory. We have come to the near end of another week, and we praise you for you have taken care of us. You have watched over us. You have let us sleep and wake and fight on through the ups and downs, giving us that strength that we ask for so much every day. Thank you, Holy Father. We pray that you ready our hearts for your Holy Sabbath and that we may also ready ourselves for it. Materially and spiritually, let us be vessels that will be filled and renew our hearts. We ask that you guide us in our employment, in our studies, in our chores, that in every detail of our lives, you may be present. Keep us from omitting you, O Lord, even in the smallest of things for we are dust, we are worms, we are nothing without you, our God and creator. May our way of living please and honor you. Our actions and doings, may they reflect that you reside in our hearts. Lord, we pray for those in need, those in sickness and despair. Touch their lives with your hand of healing. Bring them the peace and comfort and remind them that they have a God who cares for them and is with them every step of the way. Let us be mindful of our brothers and sisters and help us love one another. Prepare us to carry out your gospel and be living examples, living testimonies of the work that you do in us. Bless the congregations mentioned today and may we all learn to live in devotion and love. I ask and humbly pray for all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our devotional for today is titled Friendship, written by Judith Stone, translated by Nelson Bidus, and taken from the book Mesa de Fe. Our biblical base is found in 1 Samuel chapter 18, verses 1 to 3. So says the word of God. Now, when he had finished speaking to Saul, the soul of Jonathan was knit to the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own soul. Saul took him that day and would not let him go home to his father's house any more. Then Jonathan and David made a covenant because he loved him as his own soul. Amen. May we be blessed through the reading of God's holy word. Friendship. What a feeling of security. What peace knowing you can count on someone who there is no need to pretend or feign, to know that that person is not there to judge you, but to support you. Of course, they know that you have defects, but that doesn't mean they despise you. Instead, they try to help you overcome them and makes you feel like you can do anything you want to do because in any eventuality you can count and you know they won't make you look bad with that person who loves you, who suffer when you suffer, who has joy if you are happy. They worry if they see you in trouble, and when you triumph, they take a deep breath and share the freedom from a tremendous burden. How good it is to have a friend. Oh, if we could all, in addition to brothers, be friends, sincere, endearing friends who could take care of others with more interest than if it were ourselves, because it is our friend. If we only could... But one day we will achieve it with the help of the best and most faithful friend, our beloved Jesus. Amen. May the Lord help us all, my brothers and sisters, to be like our master, to be like our best friend, Jesus Christ. That beautiful song that we sing in church, what a friend we have in Jesus can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrows share? 
Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Blessed be his holy name. Jesus is the best friend of them all. There's nothing that can be compared to him. No one that can be compared to him. And we will probably never reach his greatness. But we can certainly try. We can certainly try to mirror his character, his kindness, his understanding. And that is why it is important that we also bring that to him in prayer so that he can help mold our hearts to be compassionate, to be empathetic, and we can share the love that he has shown to us with others, and we can be those amazing friends that others can confide and trust in, because just like a lot of things in this world, we see the degradation and the corruption of the faith of the honesty, of the trustworthiness. Let us not fall into that, my brothers and sisters. We have the Lord and we are different. We are His and we are different. We are in this world, but not of this world. We can be different people that not only our family and friends can trust in, not only our family and friends can find a good and amazing friend in, but even in work, in school, our co-workers, our managers, in our employment, in any situation, my dear friends, in any relationship that we can have, we can be amazing friends. We can be amazing people. But that is only possible, like I said, if we reflect the character of Jesus Christ, who is the greatest friend of them all. Amen. May the Lord receive all the honor and the glory. And I pray that you were blessed through this devotional. But before we end this session, I kindly invite you to visit our YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children, now and forever. Amen. This was your sister, Kaylee Castaneda, hoping that you have a happy Friday.